language modeling is one of the important tasks in natural language processing our goal is to assign probabilistic values to sentences why to assign probability to a sentence consider these examples machine translation and spell correction machine translation is a task to automatically convert a source language sentence to a target language sentence while we translate we need to find the maximum closest target language sentence as the output so when we translate we go two sentences girls are dancing another one is girls is dancing now we have to find which sentence is has the mo most probable for that we need to find probability of girls are dancing and probability of girls is dancing which one is more probable girls are dancing so we can finalize girls are dancing as the translation in case of spell correction here an example is given the office is about 15 minutes from my house here this bold line minutes has some spelling correction so from the training data we can analyze whether this word is wrong for that we have to find probability of about 15 minutes from and about 15 minutes from these two sentences these two part of sentences we can analyze from the training corpus and we can find the probability of this phrase and probability of this phrase which one is more probable about 15 minutes from so we can perform spell spelling correction also two scenarios we can discuss here the first one is complete the probability of a sentence or a sequence of words given a sequence of words w1 w2 w3 etc wn we have to find the probability of the sentence that is probability of w another task is to find the probability of upcoming word complete the probability of an upcoming word we have already got w1 to w4 in that situation what is the probability to get the next word w5 in these two situations we can calculate probability a model that computes either of this p of w or p of wn given w1 n minus 1 is called language model now let's discuss how we can compute the probability p w in order to compute this probability we have to apply joint probability consider this sentence i really appreciate you for that we have to consider joint probability for that we have to apply chain rule of probability chain rule is given so for that we have to understand conditional probability probability of b given a means an event a is already occurred in that situation what is the probability of b then we can write it as probability of a and b divided by probability of a now we can tell the joint probability of probability of a and b is equal to probability of a into probability of b by a b given a if we have more variables probability of a b c d then we can write this as probability of a into a is already happened in that situation what is the probability of b that is probability of b given a now we have got a and b then probability of c given a comma b now we have got a b c probability of b given a b c in general the chain rule can be probability of x1 x2 x3 x3 is equal to probability of x1 into probability of x2 given x1 into probability of x3 given x1 x2 x3 probability of xn given x1 x2 etc up to xn minus 1 now probability of i really appreciate your can be calculated as probability of i into probability of really given i into probability of appreciate given i really into probability of your given i really appreciate marco independent assumption shows that in order to find probability look at just previous or a couple of previous words rather than the entire content consider this probability we already have i appreciate here the next word is intelligence 
in order to find the probability of intelligence given i really appreciate here we are not considering the end of previous sequence we are considering just previous book here that is approximately equal to probability of intelligence given here now we have consider only just the previous word we can consider previous n number of words here probability of intelligence given i appreciate here here we are considering previous two words for finding the probability of this this word probability of intelligence given you are appreciate by apply marco assumption probability of the state sequence w1 w2 etc w1 is the product of the conditional probabilities of each word given a some given some prefix of last few words for example probability of w1 w2 w1 is equal into product of this conditional probability i is equal to 1 to n this k means how many number of how many previous words we have to consider if we need to consider if we are decided to consider only one previous word that k is equal to 1 that means probability of assume i is equal to 1 then w of i means probability of i probability of 1 into when i is equal to 2 then probability of w2 given 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 that means w1 w2 depends on just previous word that is k equal to 1 into probability of w3 depends on just previous word w2 if k is equal to 2 means we are referring previous two words for finding the probability of current word in other words the probability of the new upcoming word given the previous word is proportional to probability of i given probability of w of i given probability of w i minus k to i minus 1 we are assuming if we need to find the probability of w for given w1 w2 w3 that means i is equal to 4 and we are assuming previous three words and i is equal to 4 then w of i means w of 4 i minus k to i minus 1 i is 4 that is 4 minus 3 to 4 minus 1 that means 1 to 3 we are considering previous three words to find the probability of current word the simplest case is unigram model here the probability of a sequence of words w1 w2 etc w1 is the product of probability of individual words that is probability of w1 into probability of w2 into probability of w3 etc now bigram model in bigram model the probability of the current word depends on the just previous word here the current word depends on just previous word probability of w3 given w2 w1 is equal to probability of w3 given w2 in bigram model we are considering a pair of two words w of i given w of i minus 1 so in general n gram model we can extend to trigrams four grams and five grams etc that is we can model with n gram models consider this example i like to listen nlp videos if the if n is equal to 2 we are considering by grams we are considering a pair of two words that is i like like to to listen listen nlp and nlp videos if n equal to 3 we are considering three words i like to like to listen to listen nlp listen nlp videos 
order to estimate bigram probabilities we can apply maximum likelihood estimate how we can find probabilities from a training data probability of wi given w of i minus 1 is equal to for that we have to count how many times in the training data w of i minus 1 comma w of i that means these two words occur simultaneously and we have to count the number of times w of i minus 1 occur in the training data that means for example probability of arm given i in order to find this probability we have to count how many times in the training data i arm occur simultaneously given how many times i occurred in the training data in this example I am a final year BTEC student. I am listening to Durovsky NLP course. My friend and I are doing NLP projects. I like to do NLP projects. From this training data, we have to find probability of arm given I. How we can find in that case, we have to count how many times I arm appear in the data. That means here I am here 1, 2, 2 times only. Now we have to count how many times I occurred in the data. 1, 2, 3, 4. Among 4 cases of occurrence of I, 2 times we got arm as the succeeding word of I. That is count of I, comma arm is 2 upon count of I is 4. Like this way we can find the probability of prob arm given I. Now we can discuss how this language modeling or Marco assumption can be applied in part of speech tagging. Part of speech tagging attaches part of speech with each word in the sentence. For that we are applying n-gram model. Here assume n equal to 3. Let's see how this part of speech tagging works. Here we need to find the part of speech of the word wi. The corresponding tag is ti. For that, we have to consider previous two words. That is trigrams. Here, the previous two words are wi minus 1 and i minus 2. Corresponding tags are given ti minus 1 and ti minus 2. So, in order to find the tag of wi, we have to consider the tag of previous two words. That is the trigram model. As n equal to 3, we consider the tag of two preceding words in addition to the current word. And n-gram tagger picks the tag that is most likely in the given contest. Now, now let's see how we can find the probability of ti, comma wi given ti i minus 2, ti minus 1. For that, we can write this as probability of Ti given Ti2 Ti minus 1 into probability of Wi given Ti minus 2 Ti minus 1 Ti. Finally, we can assume that the current word depends on the tag of current, current tag. So, probability of Ti comma wi given ti minus 2 i minus 1 is approximately equal to probability of ti that is probability of tag of current word given previous to tag into probability of current word given current tag for example this can is beautiful I can learn NLP in these two sentences we have to find appropriate tag for this word can in this case this can this can is beautiful this can represent noun but in this case, this can represent not noun. How we differentiate? 
for that we have to check the previous words that is the contest here we have discussed